everybody I am going to be showing you guys how I take care of my brows now this video will probably be quick just because I really don't do much to my brows I let them grow in quite a bit lately so that I could do this video so you could kind of see clearly you know what's going on so let me get close to the camera sorry I know you don't want to see me this close but if you can see, hopefully you can see, all of my unkemptness in these brows. All of my little hairs that are kind of growing a little crazy now. Um, like here and... So my eyebrows are... I wouldn't necessarily say that they're thick. They're just kind of big. I have big eyebrows. They're not thick. Like, I have the kind of eyebrow hair that is... Uh, like sparse but it's long so it looks like they're thick but I actually just have a lot of long hair so I can't really do much with my eyebrows because if I trim them or pick at them too much or wax them too much I just have these bald spots because it takes out the whole hair and uh, I'm left with these big gaps of hairless skin so I've had to over the years kind of figure out the right way to deal with my eyebrows because usually I would just leave them grown in and normal. So first thing that I do is I grab nads or nods. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. I've always said nads, but it could totally be nods. Um, facial wand eyebrow shaper. And this is what it looks like. Now this is a natural formula. There is no heating. I think the best part of this is that it washes away with water. I have never liked eyebrow waxes that are like really hard to get off and then you have to use like baby oil or any other kind of oil to get it off because the oil always breaks me out and it's like, well, I'd rather have a decent skin day than have good brows but like bad skin. So, you know, but I found this and this is relatively new, I think. I don't think it's actually like been out for a long time, but whether or not it's new, this is just what I'm using. And this is what I've used for a while now. Um, it lasts a really, really long time. You get these little uh, papers here. And because the wax, it dissolves in water, these are washable fabric strips. So you can reuse these as much as you want. This is not the only way that I do my brows. I definitely, if I'm not feeling like ripping something off my face, I definitely will just pluck them. But sometimes that can get kind of meticulous and then I get like frustrated and then you know one mess up and then you're stuck there for an hour and a half trying to fix whatever mistake you made so this is what I've been using for a while now I love it I think that it's awesome so I am just gonna show you what I do so in this package comes a little cleansing wipe Let me get closer and it's just something that kind of cleans your skin around your eyebrows so that way the wax can kind of adhere to your hair. Now this is not a wax that needs to be warmed up as I've already said. Now this is the cleansing wipe. It smells really good. It smells like, I don't know, it just smells, it's not like a strong perfume but it just smells kind of like fruity. So it doesn't smell gross because sometimes these cleansing wipes do smell gross but this one doesn't. Now. If you get this and you are sensitive to perfumes and stuff, just know it does have a scent. This does anyway. Um, so basically, I just kind of... I'm going to be looking here because it's the viewfinder. So I just kind of go crazy. I'm going to move my bangs out of the way so you can see better. So I just kind of do this. Now this gets kind of frothy on your skin, but you don't wash it off. You just kind of let it dry and like cleanse your skin. I don't think it's alcohol. Yeah, I don't think it's alcohol. I think it's just some kind of a gentle cleanser. It's very, very gentle. This entire thing is very gentle. So if you have sensitive skin, I do think this will work for you because I have very sensitive skin and this definitely works for me. And I have very sensitive skin. That is all cleansed now. Now save this aside so you can use it to wipe off the wax after you wax your eyebrows. And anyway, once that is dry, I take a spoolie and I just kind of comb through them because the cleanser kind of moves them all around. So I basically just get them into the shape that I normally would if I was using brow gel because that gives me a good idea of where I need to remove hair. So now that that is done, I'm going to take this. Now this is the 
what cut what the wax comes in and basically you just open it and it looks a little messy because I've used it a lot you can see I've used quite a lot of it actually um, there's still a lot left which is awesome because since these are reusable you don't just use this until it just runs out and then you have to buy another box like it's I think it's pretty cost effective this is how it comes out I put it like here like where any of these baby hairs are and this is a very goopy sticky wax because I think it has I think it has high, uh, honey in it but the packaging says that it's hypoallergenic so it's pretty safe to use oh god my eyelash you do not want that folks so I just kind of go underneath my brows like that then I use this and though it doesn't harden I do like to like rub it for uh, like, a, like five seconds to make sure that it is on the fabric and then just rip it off okay ready oh, I hate this part one two three Whew. as you can see it comes off like that a little bit left on my eyebrow so I'm just gonna use this and wipe the rest off now it doesn't hurt as bad as regular wax does because it doesn't harden so if you're like I know it looks really, really red, but that's just my skin. I have sensitive skin, you know. So, you just want to, like, kind of clean your brows up and get the excess wax off. So, I'm going to take a little bit more. And you can see, like, closer to my brow, I need to get those hairs out. So, I hope you can see, like, at least a little bit. Yeah. So, I just kind of... follow the natural movement of my brows and then I will usually just take the other side throw it on all right and then I just one two three so now you see it is getting a little bit cleaner underneath so I'm gonna start moving to this one and let this one relax for a couple minutes so I'm gonna do the same thing and just paint this on underneath my eyebrow I take a cloth. Oh, I have some of my eyelashes. Ugh, don't get it on your eyelashes. Okay, and I just get the cloth. I let it sit. And you always want to pull away from the way that your hair is going. Okay, so one, two, three. I take a little bit more. So I'm just gonna, once again, go underneath. Make sure I have all the hairs in it. Throw it on. So, as far as like this eyebrow goes, to me it's done. Like, I cleaned up all the ugly hairs down here, and now I, I usually leave like the stray hairs up here because I always connect and fill that in, and I'll show you that at the end of this actually. So, I'm just gonna real quick finish this brow because I have a little bit of unruly hair left. <laughs> So, by the way, all these little white things, it's all like the cloth just kind of shedding. But I'm going to, once again, comb my brows. So you can kind of see. Yes, they're red, but they're not like truly irritated or anything. Sorry, I'm just cleaning this up real quick. It's just because my skin is sensitive to any kind of like touching. Even when I put just water on my face, my skin will react like that. I'm going to show you now how I fill my brows because that is just as big a part of this as anything else is. So I use this teeny tiny brush, I don't know if you can really see this in the background, but it looks like that. And then I just take Bodyography's little brow trio and it looks like this. And I take the middle color, this light, this like medium brown because it matches my eyebrows. And I take the teeniest little bit because this is super, super pigmented. And then, let me just kind of get this up so I can kind of be right here, but look. So I just fill in this gap I have. Like that. Be 
because you can see the kind of difference it makes. Again, let me put my bangs up. Can you see the difference how this is like looks like a normal eyebrow and then this one looks like it's missing like a huge chunk? So, but that's all I fill in because otherwise my eyebrows are pretty dark and they don't really need to be filled. So, that is usually how much I'll fill them. And then on this side, the same thing, just kind of taking it from where I'm missing it, like the highest point, and then just filling it in. And to be honest, I usually leave these little tiny, like, messy hairs because I think that it kind of just makes it look a little bit more natural. Like, when I fill my brows, if I have that kind of, like, messy look at the end, it kind of makes them look a little bit more natural. So that is how I fill my brows. And then, depending on the day, I will either use my Mali Transparent eyebrow gel or I will use this the brow gal by Tanya Crooks clear eyebrow gel and so really all I do is just kind of get it so that they stay in the shape I need to cut my bangs sorry and that's it that's all I do and this doesn't feel sticky nothing my skin feels clean that's how I do my brows so I hope this was helpful for somebody. If you have any questions, like if you want to see how I pluck my eyebrows instead of how I wax them, then just leave me a comment and I'll make a little video like this and show you how I pluck them. Just let me know. Um, let me know if this helped you. Let me know if you want to see like, a more close-up version of this and I'll show you that as well. I highly recommend the NADS Facial Wand Eyebrow Shaper because it just works really, really well, and it's an easy cleanup, and the only real mess it makes is actually on the tip of the applicator, so like you might have to wipe that down with like the cleansing wipe after you use it, but really that's all you gotta do, and then you can just wet with some water the little wipes, and that comes right off, and then you just let them dry, and you can use them the next time you need to. Um, there's no residue once you wipe it off. It's great. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit of help, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.